Hello guys, welcome back to another tips tutorial. This time I'm going to show you how to import some of your old builds into your new maps that you are playing right now. Maybe something that you do not want to rebuild or something that you loved so much but uh, you cannot have it now. For example, this palace that is on an elevated terrain, this can also be imported. Or maybe you can import a totally uh, big and uh, lovely district that you have with props, uh, buildings, decals, trees and whatnot. Uh, again, into your new maps or maybe you have a, a big intersection that you want to add or in the worst case scenario or in the great uh, scenario you can import even an entire city that you have maybe you don't like the map anymore and you want to do it on a new map well this is hard but also not import impossible so first you have to go to the workshop look for move it mode and then click on it of course subscribe to it and don't forget to rate it so now let me show you how to uh, copy uh, for example a district so first of all go to the move it mode then make sure you have all of these selected buildings, props, decals, streets, nodes and segments and then select the exactly um, exactly what you need to uh, to have uh, to export and of course then import uh, to your new map for example I will select this entire district so everything is selected trees and whatnot and then go for this button called export I'll call this district enter it saves sometimes the button export is not working so use the enter button and then uh, let me go uh, somewhere about here and uh, let's copy this entire area for example uh, this with everything we want to have here is there anything else i haven't copied no, i think it is okay uh, hit the export button and call it palace and enter so now we are on our new map on uh, where we want to import everything we exported first let's try to import the district but before we do that let's make sure the entire uh, terrain is flat completely flat as you can see here it is completely flat uh, but we can uh, try to make sure one more time uh, also after you make sure it's completely flat try to uh, delete all the trees that you have in that area nothing else it's important to be there then go let's go for the uh, move it mode here make sure you have this little thing called follow terrain uh, it is on blue I mean it's uh, uh, working and then import import the district let's put it however you want to put it actually it doesn't really matter and as soon as you do that uh, the entire district will be imported you have to link it now with roads or whatnot that's up to you and also here you can see we do not have the pavement anymore so you have to in some areas you have to just repaint every single bit of it which this it doesn't have to take too much but uh, well it is a thing uh, the only small part of it because everything else it is uh, here imported ah one more thing that I haven't mentioned I guess you must be subscribed to all those things that you are uh, of course copying because otherwise you will not see them they will not be imported now let's copy here let's import actually here the palace the one that is with the terrain elevate a elevation for that you, we have to uh, uncheck this little button now because if you keep, keep it like that it will look very bad uh, let's import uh, let's click for the palace and now you will see one thing if you go closer I'm not going to put it down all already you, if you go closer and you'll see that everything is almost sunken and that's because the elevation from the other map it was a uh, way much lower uh, but that's not a problem because we can put it like this and then hold the shift button and press the page up uh, button as well and now we are elevating them but it's let's see from here uh maybe not that high maybe a little bit like this but 
because we unchecked that button that I was telling you about, uh, this one, everything is going to be elevated at the same height. Now, if we have another look here, we see that it looks very, very, very derpish. Let's go back to the landscaping and disasters uh, tool. Uh, then select this button level terrain. Uh, let's take it. Uh, let's make it bigger. Click here, right click here, and then let's just uh, raise the entire terrain, every single place we have here. This won't take you too much, I promise you guys. This is way much faster than if you have had to rebuild everything. I mean, in 10 minutes or maybe 5 minutes, you can have the entire palace uh, to make it look like it was in the other on the other map. Let's even make the brush bigger. Uh, instead of doing it from zero, again, this is something that you do only if you want to import something that you love so much or you liked so much and you do not want to redo it again. Well, actually, if you, if you ask me if you can even copy or import an entire city or everything that you want, uh, if you want to continue something that it was uh, on an older map or or God knows what, that's only up to you. Anyways, I'm not going to do everything here. Uh, you, as you can see, this is something that is doable. That's important uh, for you guys to know. It is doable no matter what uh, of the terrain elevation and uh, whatnot. Of course, the other thing that you have to do is to start painting everything here with the surface tool. Uh, and uh, I think that's it. From this side from this side it's almost done uh, if you want let me just show you here if you want guys you can even import an entire intersection imagine you love this intersection uh, I know you already know that you can copy it from here uh, and paste it somewhere else on the map you can just copy it and you have it here but maybe you do not want to have it here again you want to have it on another map or uh, you want to copy something like this from an older map that's the reason of this entire tutorial tips uh, video uh guys i think that it is uh, if you did enjoy this and you found it uh, really helpful uh don't forget to subscribe to my channel and leave a like and maybe even a comment uh, for me, this was a really cool thing. Again, this is something that was uh, not so long time ago released by the creator of this mode of moving mode called Samson. Uh, he added these new features for the moving mode, but uh, maybe some of you didn't read it or didn't know about it or, or whatnot. But I guess this is way much helpful. See you next time, guys. I wish you all the best and I salute you.